Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be reading out an account of when Malatesta first met Bakunin. The account is from Perna Cohn's book Italian Anarchism, which I highly recommend you read. It's one of the best books on the history of anarchism I've ever read, by one of the best historians of anarchism I've ever read, so I highly recommend it. And this extract I'm about to read is, in my opinion, extremely wholesome. The account goes as follows. The following month he went to Zurich for his first meeting with Bakunin. The young man who crossed the Swiss frontier in September 1872 was short and wiry, with dark curly hair, a moustache, deep-set eyes, and sharply chiselled features. He seemed to radiate intense passion and explosive energy, yet, despite the vigorous image he projected, Malatesta was sickly as a youth. Doctors had diagnosed him as a consumptive, and predicted he would not live past his 24th year, an ominous prognosis supported by the fact that his father, mother, sister, and a brother had all died of lung disease by 1870. Pernacone notes in a footnote that, although he lived to age 78, Malatesta was afflicted with chronic bronchitis and occasional pneumonia throughout his life. He continues in the main text. After completing the strenuous journey across the Gotthard Pass, Malatesta arrived at Bakunin's Zurich residence on September 7th, feverish and coughing blood. The old Russian, quote, with a maternal tenderness and concern that touched my heart, covered Malatesta with every available blanket and overcoat, plied him with hot tea, and bade him stay quiet and sleep. Later that night, he overheard Bakunin talking in a low voice to the other comrades, saying flattering things about him, but adding sadly, quote, Too bad he is so sick. We will lose him soon. He hasn't more than six months. But Malatesta, too young and spirited to contemplate his own mortality, thought, quote, It almost would have been a crime to die when there was so much to do for humanity. I felt happy to have that man's esteem and promised myself to do everything to merit it. Indeed, Malatesta awoke cured the following morning and was able to participate in the interminable discussions into which Bakunin and his disciples immersed themselves over the next few days. There are several details I really like about this story. So the first is the fact that Malatesta had serious health problems and could have died really young, just after first becoming an anarchist. And he survives, and doesn't only survive, but he lives till he's in his late 70s, and totally changes the history of anarchism, is one of the most important anarchist theorists ever, he's my favourite uh, anarchist author ever, and I, I just find it amazing how, if things had been slightly different, Malatesta could have died, and so many foundational texts for me and my understanding of anarchism never would have existed, such as Anarchy or uh, Malatesta's Anarchist Program, uh, link in the description. The other thing I, I really like about the text is the way in which Malatesta describes Bakunin in his account as uh, acting with maternal tenderness and concern. So they have a kind of loving, cooperative relationship in which uh, Bakunin is engaging in uh, caring labour, uh, and that this includes you know, covering him with blankets and making him tea, and it, I just think it's like a really cute uh, mental image. You know, Bakunin is this kind of really old uh, figure in the movement, he's a very important figure in the movement, or Malatesta at this point is a, a teenager, uh, has just entered the movement, and Bakunin is you know, looking after him and showing concern for him. And I just think it's really cute, because it's like these two, you know, famous revolutionaries, although Malatesta isn't famous yet, having a, having a nice little moment, as uh, Malatesta is extremely ill. So yeah, I, I hope everyone listening uh, liked the story. I hope if you're ever ill, you have a kind of substitute for Bakunin covering you in blankets and making you tea. I was planning to make a really long video this month, but unfortunately I caught Covid. And so I was really ill, uh, 
I didn't have a uh, Bakunin uh, next to me, uh, covering me in blankets and making me tea. I had to uh, look after myself. Um, but I'm feeling fine now. I'm just kind of a bit more tired than usual. Uh, but hopefully my uh, energy level should come back and I can uh, make lots of content. So hope everyone liked this video. Uh, thanks to everyone who has and continues to support me on Patreon. Uh, please uh, do support me on Patreon if you like my work. Uh, follow me on Twitter to see me kind of post random things like facts and bad jokes and memes. And yeah, bye everyone, and hopefully I will have uh, a long video soon.